Let's begin with exercise number one. Here's the situation. User authentication has been configured in router 2-2 as part of a proof of concept project that will be rolled out for the rest to the rest of the network upon completion. Local user authentication is working, but authentication by the TACAC server is not. Tier 1 has not been able to resolve this, our old friend technician, and so it's been escalated. We need to be able to look at this particular issue. So let's start first by looking at our trouble ticketing system. You see here that TACAC server is not authenticating users. It says, after taking that security last month, I thought this would be easy. The TACAC server isn't getting any of the incoming requests, and I can't figure out why. Can you give it a shot? So now let's go to our console. We will start with router 2-2. This is where the issue is. So let's start with some simple ping tests. So ping 192.168.10.12. And that's the TACAC server, so that's working correctly. We've communicated with the server team, and they've informed us that all of the configuration on that is correct. And even the Cisco partner did a quick look at the TACAC server and said everything was configured correctly from that end. So let's launch a test connection. We'll go to router 2-1. We will initiate a test connection to router 2-2. Notice the lag. It says open. Put on our user credentials. Now, let's go through and check the basic things that we normally do. Show IP interfaces brief. So we've got our LAN interfaces up. Our VLAN interface is up. So that's a good sign. Now let's do show CDP neighbors. Showing all of our layer 2 traffic. And our TACAC server is actually connected by wireless here. So we'll just do a ping to that as well. 192.168.10.12. Still working. So now let's... We want to look a little bit at the TACAC server configuration. Let's do show TACAX. So we have here 192.168.10.12, which is correct. The UDP port of 49. You can see attempts to open. And look at this, failed connection attempts. So something is not working correctly. In this case, it's three failed connection attempts that have been logged. So we know that all of this seems to be correct. The IP address is correct. The server is reachable, but we're still seeing failed connection attempts. So in order to be able to look at it further, let's do our show running configuration. And we want to look first at our AAA configuration. Here it is up here. This appears to be correct because we've got TACX first and then local if for some reason TACX isn't available, which is one of the reasons why we're able to log in. Otherwise, we'd have a whole other set of problems on our hands. So these commands, we're not going to bother to go through and parse all these, but suffice it to say that this is the AAA new model. That's the critical one. So everything appears to be correct on the AAA server. So now we, because we've identified TACX as our authentication server type and protocol, now we need to scroll down. Actually, this could take a while, so we're actually going to use another feature, show running config, and it's going to be include TACX. That way we don't have to make it a lot easier. So we've got all our TACX stuff here. Got our IP address correct. But here we actually see the problem. Because the TACX server key configured on the server is actually simply T-shoot. So we have an incorrect key. Seems like such a simple thing, but it's these types of things that can cause you the most grief because you could parse through the configuration and think that everything looks correct and it ends up being something as simple as this. It could also be just transposed letters is another thing that can happen that I run into a lot. So we can configure that by eliminating this command altogether and now restoring it by this. Do a write mem. Now let's exit back out. And let's try logging in again. It was a little bit faster this time. 
because it wasn't waiting on the TechX server to answer before logging in locally. So now let's do show AAA sessions. See if this has changed. Now look here. We've got our we've got a unique session ID, our username, the IP address that we're coming from. And it looks like we've resolved our problem. We can just do show TACX again for fun. And it looks like we've resolved our issue. It was just a matter of correcting the key ID. So let's do a write mem. So let's do a root cause analysis. The fault was identified on router 2-2, which is the router that actually is receiving the authentication. It was isolated to layer 3. In this case, it was specifically security related TACX authentication. And the specific fault was the incorrect TACX key. And the solution was accomplished by deleting the old key and reinserting it correctly. So let's go back to our trouble ticketing system. Let's do edit. Go down here and say in correct TAC X server key on router 2-2. Do T shoot 1 deleted and recreated using the correct key of T-S-H-O-O-T. Good to go. Now we can do this as resolved. An update request. Now when we go back to request, that's taken care of. So this concludes the authentication server exercise.